Right. Um, let's do a little differentiation, and um, this time I want to focus on some Fanama students and 100 um, year one students in the university. Let's look at how to find the Y the X, please. Remember, share this video to your friends, and also in the comment section, let me know how you feel about the solution or the better way you think I could have done it. But well, let's do it my own way. All right, in doing this, let me first have my board divided because I'm going to do a whole lot of writing. I'm going to start by saying y plus change in y is equal to in root x plus change in x minus 1. All right, I'm going to make the y the subject formula. I'm going to have that the y is equal to um, this is going to be x plus change in x minus 1, then minus 1. Remember, taking this to this side to become minus. But remember what this y is. y is something as root x minus 1. So I'm having change in y, which is equal to root x plus change in x minus 1, minus root x minus 1. All right. Getting to this point, I'm not going to use binomial expression or binomial theorem. I can still use it. But what I'm going to do is to use the, you know, clear this root. I want to remove this root. I'm going to use that by using conjugate, by rationalizing. How will I do that? I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this expression. So this is going to be root x plus change in x minus 1. Instead of writing minus, I'm going to say plus. I will explain why I'm doing this later all divide by root x plus change in x minus 1 then plus root x minus 1 bracket close now remember this is all over 1 why i am doing this is because i want to remove this root so what i'm doing is taking the numerator to rationalize the expression if you check this what i have in the numerator here is the same thing as what i have in the denominator so i did not change anything this divided by this is still 1. So, but I'm doing this in order to cancel the root. Let's continue. So, see what I'm going to have. Changing y is going to be equal to everything here multiplied by everything here. Root multiplied by root is just the value of the expression. Look at what I mean. If I have root x times root x, the answer is going to be x. So, when I say root x plus 10 y minus 1 multiplied by root x plus change in y minus 1, I'm going to have x plus change in x minus 1. Alright, so after that, I'm going to say this multiplied by this, and that is going to be plus root x minus 1, then root x plus change in x minus 1. So I'm done with this one. I'm going to use this to multiply again. This multiply this is going to be minus root x minus 1 on then root x plus change in x minus 1 then minus this times this is going to be minus x minus 1 remember you need to shade it in the bracket and this is all all over this which is root x plus change in x minus 1 then plus root x minus 1 so uh, this is where we are right now, and it's getting very, very interesting. Now, let's keep going. If you look at this, I have this same thing, this same expression and this same expression, subtracting each other. And whenever something is plus and minus, it means that they will be going out. They are zero. Permit me to use this cancellation. This minus this is zero. So I have with them, um, I have now changing y is equal to x plus change in x minus 1 then minus this is going to be minus x plus 1 because minus times this is minus x minus times minus 1 is plus and everything is going to be root x plus change in x minus 1 then plus root x minus 1 all right so <laughs> this is very beautiful so the next thing i'm going to do is to clear everything here x minus x is 0. 
minus some plus one is zero. So everything is going to be equal to what is left here is changing x. So let me just, I love to do this, have this left, all over root x plus changing x minus one, uh, root x minus one. Oh, remember, it's plus. If you don't put that plus, you will be making mistakes. Now, I have done what I need to do, the right thing, the next thing I'm going to do is to divide both sides by changing x. So I'm dividing this side by changing x. I'm multiplying by 1 over changing x. It's the same thing when you multiply an expression by 1 over x, 1 over changing x. It simply means dividing changing x. So this cancels this. So I have that changing y over changing x is equal to 1 all over, because when something consists of remaining 1, all over x plus changing x minus 1, then plus x minus 1. And remember, when changing x tends to 0, this becomes 0. So I have 1 all over, I mean, taking the limit, when changing x tends to 0. So this becomes 0, I have root x minus 1, then plus root x minus 1. Well, I'm going to say this is 1 all over. Same thing plus same thing is 2 of that same thing. That means root x minus 1 plus root x minus 1 is going to be 2 root x minus 1. This is what it is and this is very beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the answer. Another way you can write this answer is to say or oh, this is going to be 1 all over 2 bracket x minus 1 always to power 1 over 2. All right, I think this is correct and um, I wish I made some mistakes but then I don't think I did because when I make mistakes you want to talk more. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to share this video, like, subscribe and